The world is a dangerous place if we don't uh, join our hands to help each other. In the time of the crisis, Grindavik and the people of it are now under the siege. It's two months that they have now suffered earthquake and now eruption of volcano, which is burning the town practically. And Red Cross of the Iceland is now uh, having an, uh, announced that they will gather collection from anybody who wants to donate something for the people of the Green Dubik to help them to build their own life again. They're practically homeless. There are many displaced people around the world. This is one of them. And if you can help, please help. I give the link below in the description. And please, in your donations, don't forget the family, children, and the grandchildren of the man who sacrificed his life practically during the reconstruction of the Green Dubik and lost his life during that. The identity of the man uh, who actually fell in the sinkhole in Grindavik when working to make the life easier for his fellow citizens in the town of the Grindavik is now revealed. His name was uh, Ludwig Peterson, and uh, he was a fellow YouTuber, as you will see. He was an avid runner and he had some records, and uh, he fell into this sinkhole, which actually could be revealed if we had the right uh, tools. Uh, probably we don't expect that Iceland had such tools, but the EU definitely has. Ludwig was 50 years old, and he was born in uh, 1973, and he was an avid uh, sportsman. As you can see, he was fit. Uh, he was fond of the machinery and a runner also. He had some records of uh, in the ITRA and uh, as you can see in the social media pages also that uh, he was a fellow YouTuber and it almost started as we all of us started, you know, with just few viewers and subscribers. He had a record. His age was in the category of 50-54 when he was doing this. He had uh, two stepchildren, four children of his own, two stepchildren from his partners and two grandchildren, so he practically was a grandfather. In the future, probably we should really use the geote geophysical techniques to actually identify the substrata in the Grindavik when we want to actually do any work. We are able to use the uh, sur uh, surface penetrating radar, for example. We easily can show us what is underneath. And in this way, we can avoid that. Uh, EU can be a good help, good source for help on this. EU, United Kingdom, United States of America, who have such equipment, I think that they should provide this equipment to the Icelandic authorities or actually loan it, loan it to them, lend it to them, so they actually can use it. And to avoid such problems is a sad day for all of us. Uh, I wish to extend my condolences to his family and to his children and grandchildren and his partner. I wish them all well, and uh, I hope that he will be alive. It's impossible, but...